What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today we have an affordable notebook from Jumper and this is the 4th generation of the EasyBook 3 Pro. Now you can find this for around $270 to $290 and for that price it does offer a lot of value. So we have a 13.3 inches IPS panel that has a resolution of 1080p, we also have the Intel Apollo Lake N3450 CPU clocked at 1.1 GHz, we have 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of eMMC storage. Out of that 64 gigs of internal storage, we only have about 45 gigs left after the operating system. And the speeds that I got for the internal storage, well, even though they're not absolutely horrible, they're definitely not the best that I've seen. Now, even like that, I haven't actually noticed the notebook slowing down at all. The internal storage can also be upgraded with an SSD. So on the back of the notebook, you're gonna find a little plastic door. And if you remove that, you have access to an M2 SSD slot. This notebook takes a 22mm SSD drive and I don't actually have any at home but um, I'm gonna leave a link in the video description just in case um, you don't know what um, you should be getting for your notebook. Even though this costs under $300, it's entirely made out of metal and it kind of looks like a MacBook Air, however with a much better screen. At the bottom we have four rubber feet so the notebook doesn't slide from whatever surface you're gonna place it on and we also have two speakers. Now unfortunately the speakers are pointed downward so that's not ideal however they do sound quite good and here is a quick sample of how the speakers sound. Moving on to the right hand side of the notebook, there we have a 3.5mm audio jack and the sound coming out of that audio jack is decent, so it's loud, crisp and with a lot of bass. We also have a USB 3 port and a slot for an SD card. On the other side of the notebook you're gonna find an HDMI port and that's great mostly if you're planning to use a screen with your notebook. We also have the second USB port and lastly the port for the power adapter. Personally I'm not a big fan of this power adapter but mostly because I have to carry this um, with me pretty much everywhere I go and I wish the notebook would have like a USB-C port that would actually accept um, charging because it would make it much easier to charge this on the go but um, it is what it is and this is what we get. Luckily you're not gonna have to charge this notebook very often so inside it we have a 4800 mAh battery and we also have the power efficient um, Intel Apollo Lake N3450. So you're gonna be able to go for about 6 hours on one charge. Now of course it really depends what you do with the notebook because I had a couple of times when I only got about 3 to 4 hours. So if you are gaming you're definitely gonna use more battery. The keyboard looks and feels very similar to the keyboard that you would find on a MacBook Pro and I've been using this notebook for a couple of weeks now and my only complaint about the keyboard is the fact that it's not backlit. So if you're working at night, um, well you're not gonna be able to see the keyboard that well. I also like the fact that whenever you are typing the notebook's body is sturdy enough that the keyboard doesn't bend. Now I know that this may not make sense but with a lot of cheaper notebooks from China the body kind of bends whenever you put pressure in but with this one it's much much better. The trackpad is fairly big and somewhat bigger than other trackpads that I've seen on other um, notebooks um, from China. This one is made out of plastic and it has a matte finish to it but it feels great to touch. It supports gestures as well and it works well enough that I haven't had a need to actually plug in an external mouse and there were some other notebooks in the past that I actually had to plug in a mouse because the trackpad wasn't great but with this one no issues at all. The 13.3 inch screen is an IPS panel that has a resolution of 1080p and I'm kind of happy to see that we don't have those huge bezels that we usually get with notebooks from China so the notebook does look quite good. The viewing angles are also great but the screen's brightness is not the best that I've seen but luckily we have a matte finish and that helps a lot with reflections so you can still use this outside. We also have a 2 megapixel camera just above the screen and of course a 2 megapixel camera is not gonna have the best quality out there however for Skype or anything like that it works good enough. We also have a built-in microphone and the microphone sounds okay but the microphone seems to be somewhat under the keyboard so whenever you are talking you kind of have to point your voice towards the keyboard because otherwise the other person is not gonna hear that well. And of course since we have a microphone built-in you can also use the voice assistant so Cortana so you can ask for like the weather, um, for reminders and so on. 
This notebook comes pre-installed with Windows 10 the Home Edition and this is also an activated copy of Windows 10 and that means that you're going to have access to the Windows Store and from there you can download apps or games or anything like that and you're also going to be able to get updates. It took me about three hours to do all the updates for this when I first set it up and the ones that was done I also had to delete all the previous um, Windows files and that was like about 30 gigs because if you don't delete that um, you're only going to be left out with about three or four gigs um, of internal storage. As I mentioned earlier, this notebook is using the Apollo Lake N3450 and 6 gigs of RAM. And even though it does good for most tasks, so for browsing the internet or watching YouTube videos or anything like that, the benchmark results that we are going to get from it aren't that high, but they are kind of normal for the Apollo Lake N3450. Watching YouTube videos, for example, works really well if you use the built-in browser, so Edge, so you can select any resolution, 2K, 4K, or um, whatever you wish. Now, if you watch the exact same video on Chrome, um, the videos don't actually do that well, so there is a lot of lag and the videos aren't smooth at all. So for YouTube videos, I do recommend that you use Edge. And of course, those YouTube videos aren't going to work well if we don't have a fast enough internet connection. So with this notebook, we get dual band wireless AC. And I have to say the speeds that I got over Wi-Fi are quite good. Now, maybe the range is not the best that I've seen. So it really depends how far you are away from your router. But most of the time that I use this notebook, I haven't had any issues with the internet connection. Now, keep in mind that I use a mesh Wi-Fi system at home. So it doesn't matter if I'm in the garage or the first level or the second level. My internet connection is very good no matter where I am in the house so keep that in mind it may be different for you gaming it's also possible on this notebook but of course you're gonna have some limitations so i played a couple of games that i downloaded from the windows store and they did okay i mean one of the games um, had some skipped frames here and there but i'm gonna let you guys um, watch those games for a few seconds so you can see for yourself strike two this is monarch advance to extraction point b over you heard him come on I've also tried Netflix on this and that was the Netflix app that I downloaded from the Windows Store. But uh, if you don't want to download the app, you can just um, use Netflix um, in the browser. Now, Netflix does um, work very well and uh, I'm imagining the maximum resolution is going to be 1080p, which is basically the resolution of the screen. And uh, pretty much all the movies or TV shows that I watched did work very well. I've also tried some video files on this notebook and all the 1080p files that I tried did work um, quite well. I mean, I was expecting that, but the 4K files that I tried, I only tried um, a couple of 4K files. Those ones didn't do good at all. So they skipped a whole bunch of frames and um, quite a bit of lag and so on. So if you're planning to watch any 4K content on this, well, this is probably not the best um, notebook for you. But considering that we have a 1080p screen, why would you want to watch a 4K file? At least um, in my opinion. So these are the files that worked and the, the files that didn't exactly work. And it's time to conclude this video. So for under $300, this offers really good value in my opinion, decent performance. I mean, browsing the internet, answering comments, watching YouTube videos, anything like that is going to do quite well. But if you're looking for a gaming machine, well, this is definitely not it. We get a beautiful looking notebook that's not that heavy. It only weighs about 1.4 kilos. We have great battery life and we also have a beautiful looking screen. So in my opinion, if you're looking for a notebook mostly for traveling or like light usage around the house, I think this is going to be a good um, choice. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.